What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today I have for you the review on the 2023 Cadillac XT5. This is in the beautiful opulent blue. I just love what GM did with this color. It is such an amazing color and uh, I hope you guys really enjoy these car reviews. Uh, I haven't been posting them a lot recently because I've had a lot of other things going on. If you guys enjoy them, please subscribe. It does help me out and give me more opportunity to be able to do more car reviews. But let's just kind of dive into this 2023 XT5 and see what it has to offer. I'm going to start with the interior bits here. If we come around to the front, we do have this amazing tan and gray interior that runs along here. Uh, we get the same effects over here on the seat. The tan and the bolstering down here is also gray as well. This specific one does have floor liners, actual liners that uh, these ones are specifically black. I'm not sure if they offer them in any other color as of this point, but they, uh, they are really nice, especially around here in Colorado where we do have a lot of bad winters as well. Down here, you do get this nice little cubby over here. Um, the same gray and tan that kind of runs along pretty much everywhere. This is a really nice color. I kind of actually enjoy it here. our way to the back here we do get of course the same color interior this amazing tan all the way across um, the seat belts are gray which do kind of go along with the theme I really enjoy that they didn't just throw you know some black seat belts in here or even tan to just kind of blend in they kind of made it a little bit offset to just kind of uh, kind of spice it up a little bit um, I love that the head or the uh, sunroof goes all the way to the second row. I would have loved that as a kid. I loved looking out through that. Uh, on the back of the seats here, we do have this kind of, they kind of changed these pockets a bit. It looks like you can probably throw a map back there like they used to be for, but of course not many people use maps anymore uh, now that we have phones and stuff. You do get vents back here. There is heated seat option over here as well. Um, this little cubby you can store stuff in and then down here you get USB-C and a regular USB port as well. You also have this nice drop down cup holder there which doubles as an armrest. Sitting back here in terms of legroom, there is a ton of legroom back here like I'm surprised. I think this passenger seat I think is all the way back. And there's so much leg room back here, like I'm 5'8", and I still have plenty of room and don't feel crammed at all. It's, uh, it's really enjoyable. In terms of headroom, there's quite a bit. If you were a little bit taller than me, you may have some issues, but overall, it's still really good about a headroom. We come around to the trunk here. And you do have, of course, the same gray and tan though the car is dinging at me because I opened the trunk <laughs> but you have this nice gray carpet that kind of winds the inside on the sides but you also do get this plastic a nice 12 volt socket right down over here um, this little cover probably pops off there may be some probably fuses back there now that I think about it um, this specific one does have this trunk uh, liner as well you pop this open uh, this specific model does have a spare tire. You do not see that in a lot of vehicles, especially, say, the 2023 XT4 does not come with that. Um, but the previous models did. Uh, this specific one does also have the sunshade as well. These are all LPOs, or what they call limited production options. And uh, you can kind of spec them out still to be able to get a lot of these features still. As we come around here to the engine, we do have GM's LGX. 3.6 liter direct injection engine with cylinder deactivation as well to help improve fuel economy and it does such an amazing job. I've seen customers come into my dealership and they have 
like 600, almost 700 miles of range to go just because of how much they're driving and because of how well this engine just works. Direct injection engines, of course, require a little bit less fuel and being having cylinder deactivation as well overall helps that with it as well but um, you do have it also with the nine speed transmission that gm made it up to it as well it's just overall a great vehicle i would say a great commuter this engine isn't too loud definitely has a lot of power 310 horsepower and i can't think of the torque specs right now i'll put them right down below as well but i hope you guys enjoy this in terms of suspension and uh, braking, suspension you do get a McPherson style suspension so you have a strut and one lower control arm. For braking you do have this specific one, comes with a two piston caliper, um, it is a floating caliper with uh, solid discs, just still amazing. I can only imagine having the six pot Brembo upgrade would be even better but you don't really need it. The brakes on this thing just stop you amazingly and if we come to the back back here we do get multi-link rear suspension a single piston caliper back here and overall with how they designed it with the multi-link and the mcpherson setup the vehicle handles amazingly for being as tall as it is and being uh, kind of a bigger vehicle it just it feels great on the road and i cannot stress enough how beautiful this blue is like I don't think my camera can do it justice. It's just such an amazing deep blue color. I can't even imagine like how they did this. It's it's deep. It's it's got in in low lighting I've seen it even have some slightly different colors in it, but in the direct sunlight like this, it just it's this dark deep blue that has so much depth in it and it's just a really amazing color. I really enjoy it. All right, I'm coming up on some corners here. I'm gonna see how this XT5 feels through these. It's pretty light. And yeah, this feels really nice. I mean, I'm just in front wheel drive, um, just going through, I don't know, corners you can take it like 50 miles an hour and it just feels like it's hugging the road. It doesn't feel upsetting or anything. I just feel that you can just point and go. It's, it's really nice and this specific XT5 being a 2023, um, I'm assuming Cadillac plans to facelift it for 2024 since they've basically had the same exact design since 2017. They've done little things here and there to make them look a little bit better, like change the grill, um, the wheels, uh, some of them they offer the Brembo brake package as well and overall they've kind of just made little improvements but it's been the same vehicle for the past six years and i know for 2024 cadillac is planning to upgrade the xt4 and that's been only that specific body style for four years so i'm assuming they'll facelift this as well but overall i mean this is a great mid-size vehicle um, it's probably one of Cadillac's best-selling SUVs. I mean, of course you have the Escalade, but when it comes to this, a lot of people like that mid-size feel, and they go to the Cadillac XT5 because it's been what they've known basically, I would say, since 2010, because it's based on the same concept as that 2010 SRX when they switched over from that wagon over to that mid-size you know, SUV feel, and just updated everything overall. So a lot of people really enjoy this, and I can see if they facelifted it, they would probably get a bunch of sales from it. All right, it's time for the braking test here, and uh, it doesn't look like there's anyone behind me, so. Oh! <laughs> Don't know what that was, <laughs> that one flying. The uh, seat belt actually has an automatic pretensioner, so once I slammed on the brake, it tugged the seat belt tighter so you could, uh, you know, feel comfortable in the seat. But yeah, this thing brakes amazingly.
All right, going over the fob here, they do still have the old style fob, but um, still pretty much the same features. You have lock, unlock, remote start, trunk. If we click the lock button and hold down the remote start, starts up the vehicle just fine. We wanna shut it off, just hold down the remote start and it shuts it right back off there. Pretty simple and great features to have. All right, it's time for the launch test here. Uh, I got sport mode on, so it's all wheel drive, traction control off, brake boost a bit and pretty good. I would say you definitely could easily get out in traffic with this. <laughs> go over some more of the in-depth interior features here because these Cadillacs they do have quite a few features that not everyone knows about so when you come to the main home screen this is your general full thing that you'll generally see so there's like four little dots down here maps over here if you have your phone connected um, or even music playing it'll show up right over here you have your climate up here to the right audio phone navigation Wi-Fi hotspot that is a nice feature to have in here especially if you're kind of like me and you constantly on the go and you need to say upload videos or stuff like that you have access to the cameras this does have a 360 camera all the way around on it you can go back home Apple CarPlay Android Auto um, OnStar services you can adjust the front climate and rear climate down here you do have front climate controls as well as heated seats cooled or not necessarily cooled seats but they're ventilated seats and then of course you can adjust temperature control there settings you go in there and you can personalize the vehicle to what you want you also do have built-in Spotify here as well down here you do have a little cubby you can put little things in say like I don't know hand sanitizer the key fob uh, cup holder here which does have an automatic closing door down here you do have a phone charger which I have my phone in right now which is right under this armrest here traction control button mode button which you can switch from tour which keeps it in front wheel drive or you can switch it to uh, like all-wheel drive or sport which also keeps it in all-wheel drive as well you do have radio controls here navigation music phone if you have your phone connected you can also use this knob to rotate rock left right go up down stuff like that this is a power button and a volume knob as well which i kind of enjoy more because back on the 2017 and uh, uh, 2019 models of the Cadillac XT5 they had a slider through here which was the volume which was similar to like the previous generation SRX which I personally didn't like but um, I'm glad they kind of updated that and put the knob here steering wheel you do have controls here to go through to different menus and such like right now I have it on fuel economy you can switch it over to music uh, press right again navigation your phone settings you can change a bunch of different things in there right now it does tell you it is in two-wheel drive right now you do have this button right here which if you have your phone connected you can skip to the next song previous song stuff like that cruise control buttons on the left side here as well as hands-free and uh, phone call end this also doubles as a mute button which I just learned here as well you do have your gap adjust for if um, for your automatic braking for if you happen to say not being paying attention and someone in front of you slams on their brakes you can adjust the gap to how close it wants to be able to do that your lane keep assist and heated steering wheel down here you have turn signal brights and auto brights as well on this specific model this does have uh, rear and front windshield sprayer wipers and stuff like that you do also have the auto feature which if you just click up once it turns it into auto mode and then it stays on auto so whenever it has uh, or whenever it sees a little bit of rain or mist or anything the wipers will automatically wipe for you if we open up the center console here you get the SD card for navigation USB-C and a standard USB port as well drop down here into the bottom you have this cutout that looks like the fob so if the fob battery dies you can still start the vehicle you drop the key fob in there it detects it, it takes like 
two seconds longer for it to be able to start the vehicle, but it will start the vehicle for you. This specific model does have a heads-up display. The controls for the heads-up display are right here on the left side of the steering wheel. Um, you have the heads-up display you can adjust up, down, the information and the brightness here. This is your dimmer switch, so say you're driving at night and you can't see the gauges or anything, you just roll that sucker up and it'll turn, uh, it'll brighten everything so you can be able to see it. And you also have the parking brake here, it is electronically controlled. For the lift gate control, I've seen a lot of times I have customers come in and they're like, my lift gate won't open. Um, you can physically rotate this to off and it'll pop up here saying power lift gate switch off to where you cannot open it with power. It will not, it'll unlatch, but you'd have to physically move it yourself, which the door is kind of heavy with all of the electronically controlled um, bits and stuff, but um, you can adjust it three quarters which it doesn't necessarily open three quarters, it's kind of a set it where you want it to be, and then you can also of course keep it at max, which just opens all the way. Overall, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I do thoroughly enjoy what Cadillac has done with this vehicle. They've uh, they've kind of taken some of the things that they've messed up on, on like say the SRX and the earlier model XT5s, and they've just genuinely improved them. The 2023 overall is a better vehicle, I would say, than the previous generations. And uh, I would, if I needed it, I would definitely consider it as a daily. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment down below your thoughts. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day.